gave us food poisoning. Oh, oh my god! god. having some friends over for brunch which is going to be really nice they're coming in about an hour less than an hour now so i need to do prep malaika has been laying in the past few days we had a busy couple of days to start the week she did swimming and different activities so i think she's a bit tired but i'm gonna quickly prepare her breakfast and then winston's gonna just be with her like make sure she has her breakfast and stuff whilst i finish prepping my vision is like a little brunch board nothing formal um we literally don't even have a dining table yet and it's just a couple friend of ours but yeah i'm thinking like a little brunch board with like a little assortment of things so gonna have some fresh fruit i'm gonna make some waffles maybe some french toast some sausages some bacon just like a little assort assortment of things so i'm actually gonna make a list i like having a physical list if i'm like cooking a few things that would be that but let me quickly sort out malika's breakfast i'll get her dressed it's the waistcoat that i got from target um i really like it i think it could do with like some tailoring like i want to kind of get it cinched up a little bit so it's not so low and then kind of get like the waist taken in oh, but like it is up so let me get her ready
Hey, you guys. Malika! Hi! Winston is putting Malika down for a nap while well, supposedly I don't know what's going on now. Anyway, Jennifer and Xavier just left. We had a really nice time. Definitely more in our hosting bag. Like I love going out to eat and things like that, but I don't know, I feel like nothing really compares to like being able to like invite friends into your home, share a space with them and just, yeah, like share the foods that you love with them, cook for them, like just, I feel like it's just way more relaxed. Like we were able to have like really great conversations. I think when you're married, it's really nice to have other married friends as well. And you can have that point of relatability. Plan rest of the day is pretty much, just want to tidy up a little bit. Tomorrow is Sunday, which is the day that we rest our Sabbath. So I want to just kind of get a little bit of cleaning done. Um, we have breakfast for tomorrow, so I don't need to cook tomorrow. And I think honestly, probably order a takeaway tonight and then have the leftover tomorrow I'm not really in the mood to like throw down in the kitchen again or oh, actually I think I might have some stew in the freezer so maybe we'll do that I don't know we'll see but yeah I'm just gonna do a quick tidy up of the kitchen I also want to tidy up the lounge clean the bathrooms but really just taking it easy so I'll see what I can what I can kind of get to but let me at least put away everything from the kitchen <laughs> baby is sleeping i think i'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee and just hang out with winston and then we'll probably order in later although i do really want to try making chocolate chocolate chip cookies as well so yeah we'll see weekends really have no strict agenda we just kind of go with the flow side note yesterday i like to do like a deep clean like my kitchen but kind of different areas of the house kind of every like two-ish to three weeks and usually when i'm deep cleaning my kitchen that's when i'll use like more strong chemicals but this time i just cleaned my kitchen using branch basics i use their pretty much their concentrate makes up like their all-purpose is made up of you know this concentrate just mixed with water their window cleaner all of that um so i pretty much use branch basics concentrate in different kind of quantities for the different types of cleaners and also this oxygen boost to clean my entire kitchen completely non-toxic the kitchen feels so so clean but i didn't feel as tired when i'm cleaning so how i can describe it is like i thought before when i was cleaning it would just be that i'd be exhausted but I think it was actually like the chemicals kind of making me feel like a little bit like, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but I just wouldn't feel good with all of those chemicals. And I didn't even realize it, but cleaning my kitchen yesterday with completely non-toxic products, I didn't have to worry about if like Malika was like around and if she would be inhaling those things. And I just, I don't know how to describe it. Like I just felt really good in my body. So that's just another encouragement to you to try out a non-toxic cleaning alternative. I think Branch Basics is a good option. And just see how you feel, like even in your body. Sometimes we don't even realize how we feel with the toxic overload until we kind of take it away 
you know it's like if you're dehydrated but you've been dehydrated for so long that you don't even realize what it feels like to be thirsty it's only when you have a glass of water that you're like damn this feels good so anyway that's just a quick side note um yeah gonna have a coffee relax a little bit and then maybe get around to some cleaning maybe just chill i don't know we're going with the vibes <laughs> raspberry and hibiscus tea to this afternoon blend tea so i just have this little strainer and then i'm gonna put this directly into our kettle As you can hear i'm just gonna make her a cheese bagel not the most nutritious thing but we're gonna order in about an hour so she's gonna eat some of that and i'm just a girl <laughs> like this is a psa to all the moms like not every meal is gonna be gourmet sometimes you're gonna need to order and sometimes you're gonna need to make something quick that is a-okay so let me quickly make this for her before she gets cranky and then yeah i definitely want to bake cookies like i'm in the mood to bake some cookies i got this cake stand that you guys can see when i went thrifting for like six dollars and it's inspiring me just to have baked goods in the house because i feel like it's just such a nice homey vibe it's crazy but we'll tie her over until we order just a bagel with some cheese some yogurt and some oranges and give god the glory glory you know the mood I get it. <laughs> Cut the show. I'm done. Oh dear. When the game takes a turn. Hey people. Oh look. Look. It's a sea fan. They came to see us. Can we say hello to them? Say hi sea fan. Did you have a good morning? I did. Morning. We had a really good morning with Jennifer and Xavier. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, it's always good to connect with other young-ish married couples like us. So yeah, that was a beautiful brunch. Yeah, it was fun. I'm gonna try and make some cookies. Never made them before, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> I've got more Malaikas for on my head, guys. I was gonna bake with Malaika. However, she did not take her full nap. So she's not in the brightest of me, <laughs> shall we put it. Um, so I think she's just going to take it easy, watch a bit of um, TV with daddy. And also, I have never baked cookies before. So, yeah, I kind of prefer baking with her when I like really like know the recipe, know what I'm doing. So then I can make sure she's having a good time as well. So yeah, anyway, let's give this a go. I'm not sure how these will turn out. Like I said, I've never baked chocolate chip cookies, but my cake stand has inspired me to have some going. And I feel like it'd be really nice on Sunday, like before we do like our Sunday walk and things like that. So... Stop. This is the only recipe for chocolate chip cookies you will ever need. I swear it's really, really good. And the secret is brown butter. So you're going to start by cooking your butter on the stove.
recipe says to chill it for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do and then bake them in a bit. Okay, takeaway is here. We just ordered from our local Chinese. Um, so we've got stir fry rice, Mongolian beef, this. Mm, yum. And then some fries and wings, um, which my wife likes. And that's it, we're gonna enjoy our food and then I'll put the cookies in after we finish eating. Just had dinner, now I'm gonna put the cookies in. And it's actually perfect timing because then we can have the cookies warm and fresh as a dessert. I don't have a scooper, so I hope this doesn't affect things too much. moments later okay guys I'm here to report that the cookies were an absolute fail I overcooked them I knew I should have checked before I think my mistake was number one I preheated the oven for too long so it was super hot and two I had the oven on for um, it was meant to be on 350 and it was on 375 but yeah I'm kind of gutted like I was so looking forward to having Chocolate chip cookies. Oh no. Oh, no. Um, maybe I'll re. Oh, no. I really wanted chocolate cookies. Maybe I'll redo them. The only thing I'm worried about is I don't know if I have like enough chocolate chips to redo it. But I'm actually gutted, guys. <laughs> I I was so looking forward to us having them. I only have like a little bit of chocolate chips. Oh, I'm so sad. Maybe I'll retry really them with the chocolate chips that I do have, but that is absolutely gutting. It's so well, actually, it's. It's getting dark now. Come on, let's go to sleep. Shh. Ring, 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 ring. Wake up, little bunny. It's morning again. Again. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, wake up, little bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go to sleep? <laughs> <Got it. laughs> hey guys, next day now, and today is actually Sunday, which is our usual Sabbath day where we just take things a little bit slower. But I do have one work task, very important task, important for you if you like watching these videos. So. I'm actually in the process of scheduling the next video, so that's ready to go. I think by the time you watch this, you'll have seen the one that I'm scheduling now. So look out for that. And then the other thing that I'm scheduling today is actually a new podcast episode. So if you are part of that Patreon community, you'll know that the podcasts have been popping. We've come back with a, a new energy this year. So check it out and i know last episode we talked about some of the things that we wanted we were looking forward to mm -hmm. for this year and i think probably this year with everything that's coming up we'll probably focus on traveling to london and yeah. then hopefully working on baby number two after that but i think next year 2025 we might even be showing up to kenya and zim with double double blessings two kids <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm thinking about the travel with two kids. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think we're going to need some help. Maybe yeah. we'll enlist Justin and the team to help us. What with at the airport. At the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Carry one baby each. Yeah. <laughs> we also have a, I think we have a seven day free trial. So if you want to try out the podcast, see if you like it, see if you like being part of our community there, then um, check it out. Seven day free trial. Okay, Malaika. Yeah, my like I said, check out the podcast. Anyway, let's do this and then carry on with our relaxing Sunday. Oh my, oh my god. god. Wow. wow. Oh my god. I think someone's ready for cookies. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. So today's been super lazy, so we haven't done much, but I did want to redo our cookies. Um, this time I actually made them like with oatmeal, I made them like oatmeal and banana cookies, also added some egg, a little bit of flour, baking powder 
and these are much healthier and they turned out better so I'm happy about that. Still slightly overcooked but we like our cookies crispy so that was intentional. I forgot to add peanut butter so I'm just going to melt some and kind of drizzle it over the top and I think that will be really nice. And they also have chocolate chips as well. days later hey guys been a little while since the last couple of clips been going through it <laughs> been going through it basically the takeaway that we ordered the other day that you guys saw this mm, yum yum it gave us food poisoning well it gave me food poisoning i don't know how winston was feeling like a little bit but it got me like full blown yeah i don't want to <laughs> go into too much details but yeah I just I haven't been I haven't been feeling good but I think most of it is like out of my system now I'm feeling better honestly I spent <clears throat> most of the day in bed um and I know I needed that rest but after a while I started feeling like I need to just kind of get up and do some things to make me feel a bit better and that's I guess like an encouragement to you to like whether you're feeling like a little bit low because you know of something like physically or even like mentally I think it's really important to kind of take small steps to help you just feel a little bit better the first one for me is always a shower so I just had a really nice shower it seems like a really simple thing but just kind of like getting yourself in some water some warm water is a great way to kind of wake yourself up change your state make you feel refreshed and then the second thing that i'm planning to do is just kind of tidy up um, our space a little bit um, and just yeah kind of like refresh it a bit I'd, i had actually planned to clean our couch i put the covers in the wash but then i wasn't feeling well so i haven't been able to get onto that um but since i'm in the bathroom the first place i wanted to start with was the bathroom it's a space obviously that we use every day so i like to make sure that i stay on top of like the cleaning and the tidying and just kind of add a few little touches just make it feel a little bit luxurious so we're going to do a bit of cleaning we're going to do a bit of tidying and then i'm going to show you like some finishing touches that i add to the bathroom just to kind of wake it up make it feel like a really enjoyable space and just give you that extra touch of je ne sais quoi um, after you have a shower or a bath um, but first things first let's start with a little bit of a clean <laughs>
is all lovely and clean i don't know there's just no better feeling than having a clean bath i honestly kind of can't wait to have a bubble bath tonight because of how clean and fresh it is smelling and the final touch for me whenever i clean the bathroom is putting in some fresh high quality towels and our towels are actually from italic and they are very kindly sponsoring today's video when i say these towels are luxurious i really 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 mean it if you've ever stayed at a fancy resort or a five-star hotel you know how like thick and fluffy the towels feel like almost like a blanket but in a way that's super absorbent so you don't feel that dampness and that is exactly how italics towels feel um, they actually have their towels manufactured by the same people that manufacture towels for and products for top brands that you have heard of so you can be assured that these are towels of the highest quality these towels are ultra dense now if you've never had the experience of dense thick heavy towels and i am telling you it is gonna change your life <laughs> it's gonna change your life and italix towels are 800 gsm which means they are super dense super fluffy and they are also super absorbent so you're not going to get that kind of damp icky feeling that you get from like standard thin towels and they are also able to provide you these products at an affordable price which is one thing that i absolutely love i'm a big fan of being able to get quality items on a little bit of a budget so you can definitely do that with the italic and they've also given us a discount code clemens15 so if you go to the link in the description and use that discount code you can get a little bit of money off they also sent us some candles and when i say this candle right now isn't even lit i think the scent is i think it's black pomegranate and sandalwood sandalwood is one of like my ultimate favorite scents it's not even lit right now but it smells gorgeous but not in an overpowering way these candles are actually made from pure vegan soy wax and they are infused with essential oils so um we always love that and they were also made from recycled glass you know we are big fans of sustainability and trying to do things in a clean way as possible their towels as well are australian grown they make an effort to be sustainable so we absolutely love that so definitely go ahead and check out italic like it's just if you are not investing in quality towels and you're grown then you need to i feel like that's the truest flex like when people come and visit your house or people wipe their hands on your hand towel like there's a bit of a difference when the towels are just giving quality <laughs> so definitely go and check out italic we absolutely love our towels it just it feels like you're in a spa honestly and you deserve have that even from the comfort of your own so definitely go check them out i'm gonna see what winston and malika are up to and probably warm up some dinner i was thinking about cooking but i don't have the energy for that and i also can't stomach the thought of having a takeaway so yeah i'm gonna warm up some leftovers So I was going to cook because even though I'm still not feeling 100%, the thought of having another takeout is like my stomach can't do it. So I was going to cook, but then I remembered that I have some beef stew from last week, which I froze. And so I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to defrost that. And that's a hack too. Like if you are a mum or the person that does like the cooking in your home is like try and cook in bulk when you can and then freeze it because there will definitely come a day where you're like i wish i had a nourishing hot Good meal job. but i don't have the energy to make it or whatever so yeah usually i'll just like freeze some and like we we usually have it for leftovers but if i have a lot i'll try and freeze a portion and then save it for a time where i'm like not feeling 100 percent or like the week of my cycle i always like to have extra meals for that so i can just take it a bit easier without having to rely on takeouts and that's like we actually are not opposed to takeouts usually um we just prefer home cooked meals but this experience i don't i don't even know i don't know if it's also because like we've just we haven't really had much takeout in how long 
like that's probably been almost two months since we last talked. It's been a while, yeah, because as well, my mum was here, so she was helping her out with the cooking a lot too. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna defrost this, and I think we're gonna get some vitamin D out on the patio. I think that will help whilst the stew defrosts. Gonna put some water. Yeah, let's get some sunshine. The rice is cooking to have with the stew. We really like barren rice, so that's what we have. But whilst that's cooking, I'm just gonna really quickly whip up some dawa. You guys have seen us have dawa a million times. I have seen a question on like, is it, cause I know dawa means medicine. So I have seen the question like, do you guys just have this when you're sick or do you have it just every day? We pretty much have it every day and it's great not only for boosting your immune system but also for your digestion i really really wished last night when i was going through what i was going through with the food poisoning that i had some dawa to hand but we had run out and i hadn't made any yet so i'm gonna make some now because i feel like it will still be really helpful and it's just an amazing amazing way to kind of get some really good nutrients that kind of bite a lot of things and kind of help maintain your body it's been great for my skin as well and i have to thank my kenyan in-laws for teaching me the recipe specifically auntie esther um, who i know watches these vlogs so hey auntie she taught me this when she came and visited the uk from kenya when we were still there so anyway i'm going to quickly whip this up whilst the rice cooks so that we can just have a nice easy evening. from your lemons because this is what seeds are what kind of give lemon um, like a weird aftertaste but if it doesn't have seeds in then you should be good so just go ahead and take out all the seeds some garlic um, you can get this like pre peeled or you can just peel it yourself this one it doesn't have any preservatives or anything like that so I like it because it saves me time and then you just add like a little handful of these just black pepper that I'm putting in and then I'm gonna add a little bit of filtered water Anyway, dinner is wrapped up. Sorry, it's a little bit dark, but dinner's wrapped up. Honestly, I'm still kind of feeling tired. I think everything's out of my system from the food poisoning, but still feeling a little bit tired and having like a little bit of cramping. So I do want to get an early night because Malika has swimming in the morning. So I want to just try and get as much rest as I can. Shout out to my husband as well. Like he really held things down whilst I was down. So really appreciative of him but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog i feel like it was kind of like two different vibes the vibe before getting sick and then the vibe afterwards but that's real life and i really hope even some of the tips that i kind of like shared 
that kind of helped me kind of get back on my feet after getting ill help you as well like whether you are trying to get back on your feet after feeling like ill physically or even like mentally like we all have times when we feel low and i think it's nice to have, kind of have like a few things to be able to reach for to kind of just help pick yourself up so for me number one is have a shower number two is take a little bit of time to clean up your space it doesn't have to be a full-blown deep clean um, but it could be you change your sheets that you've been sleeping in for a lot of time because you've been ill or you know not been feeling the best um, and then number three is have a nourishing meal whether that's something that you have the energy to cook yourself maybe you have leftovers in the freezer like we had um, or maybe you order in but something healthy that you know is well prepared I want to emphasize that but yeah those are three tips for me like if you need something to kind of just get you out of a rut get you out of a funk whether that's physically mentally love you guys thank you so much for watching today's video for being a part of our like family like for coming into our lives it really feels like that's what it is like whenever we like pick up a camera it's like sharing our lives with you guys and it means a lot that it's so well received so yeah that's that i'm gonna just do a little bit of like cleaning um make sure the laundry's done so that malanka has a clean swimming costume for tomorrow and yeah that's pretty much it nothing interesting you guys have seen me do laundry and clean lots in the past vlogs and you've seen me do a lot of cleaning in this vlog so I'm, i won't bore you with that but yeah thanks for watching make sure you subscribe as well so many of you guys watch but are not subscribed and it really helps us out so yeah love you guys